Developing news out of Los Angeles, Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. The news of the NBA legend's untimely death was first reported by TMZ News. Now, we begin tonight with that breaking news. We're going to send it to Marcy Gonzalez with the details. This fiery wreckage in Southern California, the scene of the helicopter crash that killed basketball legend Kobe Bryant and eight others. Today's just a really, today's a tough day. Witnesses reporting seeing the chopper in distress just moments before it went down today in Calabasas. Well, I heard a, uh, a helicopter just flying just way too low, and I heard like a loud thud noise. Bryant was drafted to the NBA straight from high school in 1996, spending his entire 20-year NBA career with the Los Angeles Lakers, winning five NBA championships as well as two gold Olympic medals with the U.S. men's basketball team. The 41-year-old married to his wife Vanessa since 2001, their youngest daughter just born in June. Bryant retired from basketball in 2016. His third all-time scoring record passed just last night by LeBron James. James. Bryant responding with what would be his final tweet, continuing to move the game forward at King James. Much respect, my brother. I'm happy to just to be in a, any conversation with Kobe Bean Bryant, one of the all-time greatest basketball players to ever play. Today, a moment of silence at this NBA game as so many pay their respects on social media, including Shaquille O'Neal posting on Instagram that there are no words to express his pain, calling Bryant his brother. Fans gathering near the scene, at his home, and at the Staples Center, where Kobe's two jerseys hang in honor of the iconic athlete. And out here at the scene, you can see just some of the people gathered out here to mourn. The NTSB and the FAA will investigate, looking into whether the heavy fog that blanketed this area or other weather factors could have played a role in this tragic crash. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Calabasas, California. And Kobe Bryant's 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, died alongside her father in that crash. The NBA commissioner confirming that to ABC News. In 2018, Kobe appeared on Jimmy Kimmel and talked about his daughter's love for the game. Do you think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA? She does for sure. She does? I, I don't, it means this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great? Dude, man, I, I'm telling you. The, be the best thing the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like, hey, you got to have a boy. You and V got to have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy. She's like, oh, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, boy for that. A powerful right. moment there. From former teammates to world leaders, the sudden loss of Kobe Bryant has left many people stunned. 13 Action News reporter Alex Frescas joins us live in studio with some of the reaction from all over the world. Alex. Yeah, Jackie, stunned, probably the best word to describe this. Shock and sadness all over the world over the loss of one of the greatest basketball players to ever play the game. Let's begin with some of these tweets. We got Magic Johnson first off. Magic saying Kobe was such an icon, but he also did so much for LA. He was passionate about serving the homeless and was an advocate for women's basketball. Coaching his daughter's basketball team brought him so much happiness. Let's go to MJ, a guy that Kobe Bryant really emulated, looked up to. MJ saying in part, words cannot describe the pain I'm feeling. I loved Kobe. He was like a little brother to me, of course, uh, him and Kobe did play against each other in the early part of Kobe's career. Now to, to Kobe's uh, former teammate Shaq, he won three championships with Shaquille O'Neal. Kobe, uh, uh, excuse me, Shaq sending out a lot of tweets today. This is his latest one saying, Kobe was so much more than an athlete. He was a family man. That was what we had most in common. I would hug his children like they were my own and he would embrace my kids like they were his. His baby girl, uh, Gigi, was born on the same day as my youngest daughter. Now, um, from Shaq to one of the legendary coaches here in the league right now, the head coach of the LA Clippers, Doc Rivers, he was absolutely devastated before today's game against the Orlando Magic. Let's go ahead and listen to what he had to say. Uh, I have it. Listen. Uh -huh. This is just shocking news for all of us. Sorry, I don't have a lot to say. Uh, I just can't uh, have to go talk to the team uh, before a game and tell them to play. It's really emotional to see a great like Doc Rivers choking up like that. Um, 
just unfathomable that some of these players have to go out there and play tonight despite this news. Coach Rivers adding Kobe had so much more left to do. I want to show you this video as well from a basketball tournament at the Mamba Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks. Now this is where Kobe and his daughter were headed when that helicopter crashed. Gigi was expected to play in the tournament. Kobe was going to coach. You can see the players on their knees um, praying. I was I was seeing reports that everybody was shocked. Let's get back to some of these tweets here really quick. President Trump tweeting out just within the last hour saying Kobe Bryant, despite being one of the truly great basketball players of all time, was just getting started in life. He loved his family so much. He had such a strong passion for the future. The loss of his beautiful daughter Gianna makes this moment even more devastating. Former President Obama also weighing in saying Kobe was a legend on the court just getting started in what would have been just as meaningful a second act, referring to Kobe in post retirement. Now, um, I also want to get to um, his impact on women's basketball here. Rebecca Lobo, she is a legend in women's college basketball and the WNBA. She's saying no NBA player supported the WNBA or women's college basketball more than Kobe. He attended games, watched on TV, coached the next generation. We pray for his family. And Kobe and his daughter were often seen here in Las Vegas at Las Vegas Aces games. 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chan has more on Kobe's impact in our community. Jeremy. Well, Alex, Kobe is certainly no stranger here in Las Vegas, having been here many times on the campus of UNLV. He actually played quite a few games here where we're standing in front of at the Thomas and Mack Center for preseason games with the Los Angeles Lakers and also practice with the U.S. National Basketball Team at the Mendenhall Center. And his loss is being felt all over the Valley. Complete shock. Um, you know, Looking at uh, TMZ as the source, I, I thought that there was a possibility of a, of a hoax. The news of Kobe's death is still bringing disbelief for local Laker fans, many of them wearing his jersey at the UNLV basketball game. I wore his jersey, needed to make sure that I'm representing. I'm going to do this more often. I'm going to do this at work tomorrow. You know, that's how uh, a big an inspiration he was. An inspiration that was felt in Las Vegas, where he attended Aces games with his daughter. Kobe loved Las Vegas. Uh, he was here pretty regularly. I remember him coming to the Aces games and when he uh, brought his daughter's uh, basketball team to come and meet the team. The Aces themselves were in deep shock with the team releasing a statement recognizing his NBA achievements, saying in part he was a role model off the court as well, using his platform to do good around the world. Aces player Aja Wilson tweeted, I literally cannot process this, while another Aces player Jackie Young tweeted, so sad with a broken heart. UNLV also sent condolences to Kobe's family and held a moment of silence before Saturday's men's basketball game. Local sports radio host TC Martin says Kobe's death transcends sports, but will always be remembered for one thing. The bottom line is he was one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Now, as far as other reactions locally, the Golden Knights sent out a tweet sending condolences to his family, also recognizing his achievements, as well as Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman. Now, this being uh, so close to uh, Southern California, there's a lot of Laker fans here in Las Vegas, so expect to see more and more people wearing Lakers jerseys in honor of Kobe Bryant. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News. Jeremy, thank you. Well, Kobe Bryant was one of the greatest basketball players of all time, but his impact and his legacy will go far beyond what he did on the court. We take a look back at the ways Kobe used his platform for good. A king on the court and in the community, Kobe Bryant used his greatness to do good. Throughout his two-decade run with the Lakers, Kobe was involved in the team's outreach, promoting literacy by reading to kids in elementary schools, honoring active service military members and veterans, and hosting basketball clinics and camps for young players. He supported the work of countless nonprofit organizations with his time, energy, and money including the Boys and Girls Club, Adopt-A-Family, After School All-Stars, and the Make-A-Wish Foundation, where he helped grant more than 250 wishes, from recipients as young as three to as old as 81, 
each individual getting to spend quality time chatting, even shooting hoops with a legend. In 2006, a decade into his NBA career, he and his wife started the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Family Foundation, the mission to better the lives of children through cultural and educational opportunities. The foundation is involved with efforts to eradicate youth homelessness, and in 2007, he started the Kobe Basketball Academy, where he trained and mentored young athletes. And in light of Kobe Bryant's death, Circa Sports has closed NBA betting for the remainder of the day. It posted a tweet earlier this afternoon. Betting will reopen tomorrow morning at 8. The LVCVA is also suspending activities related to the launch of their new Las Vegas slogan. A new advertisement is airing tonight during the Grammys and cannot be withdrawn. Steve, Steve Hill, the CEO and president of the LVCVA, released a statement saying, in light of today's tragic accident that claimed the lives of Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and others on board, we are postponing any activity planned on the Las Vegas Strip until a future date. And we have more information on